here we have Ethereum uh, versus the Bitcoin parent. We'll go over the US dollar parent soon enough, but um, Ethereum Bitcoin uh, is actually starting to do something really, 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 really important over here. It's actually starting to put in a major low. We do have several things uh, that you would expect on a major low, thus the multiple drives of hidden bullish divergence right here on extremely low volatility. Now, of course, we still want to see that turn up alongside continuation, but ultimately um, that combined with the weekly jewel, which, you know, this being a rather high term time frame does, you know, hold quite a fair bit of weight, uh, losing its downside losing its downside posture and even, you know, maybe even getting a, an upside signal, uh, maybe at the end of this week, probably not right now, though, um, would very likely beget targets back up to about seven and a half million Satoshis, um, at least, you know, at least for the, sh uh, I, I wouldn't say short term relative to the weekly. So that'd be in the next few weeks. Uh, and then more, maybe more long term looking at about eight million Satoshis, if that does hold true. Problem is, is that I still look at the monthly over here and I'm not necessarily fully convinced. Uh, I do, st I do still think that, um, you know, if it does want to play at a downside move, I'm looking somewhere down around about 5.7 million Satoshis. But, uh, I think my, my prior analysis on this one likely putting in, uh, you know, another lower high right here and then having con continuation lower is going to be wrong. So I do want to get this one out as soon as the data comes in. And I think that's, I think that's actually what we're seeing right here. So I should put up an invalidation for that. And in this case, it's going to be 6.8 million Satoshis as long as we're, or not as long as we are, cause I'm not Ethereum Bitcoin, but as long as big Ethereum Bitcoin is above that, uh, you know, that major level, I do look for this one to trade sideways and up outside of this range with next short term targets, uh, probably later this week, somewhere around about seven and a quarter million Satoshis. Not not bad uh, at all right there, especially as we see volatility lift off the lows and momentum also pointed up north. Uh, the daily jewel actually got this one a lot better uh, in this case. Um, it still remained with upside momentum. Um, so I'd probably be looking for a pullback somewhere around that region, seven and a quarter million Satoshis, but that's gonna really start to look good for the weekly. So uh, with that said, yeah, with that said, I'm actually, uh, yeah, I, I think I flip around right here. This is pretty damn good. Um, Anyways, uh, lower term timeframes, I don't know if you happen to care about them, but it does look like we have another higher low right here. I'm looking for short term continuation back up around that 707 million high or so, uh, maybe even another drive a little bit higher than that uh, towards what would it be? I guess it would be somewhere right, right around about 7.15 million Satoshis in this case. Uh, not bad at all, actually. Um, yeah, I think we're seeing the reversal right now. So that is, uh, yeah. Uh, quite good for Ethereum Bitcoin. Anyways, go look at Ethereum USD. Uh, we just briefly touched on it in the main video that we did for Bitcoin, but that's okay. We can go a little bit more in depth over here for Ethereum uh, USD. And as you can see on the full hour right here, not exactly the same sort of setup that we have going on. It does have the same sort of potential hidden bullish evidence between this low right here and this lows that are seemingly being constructed, but that will not be confirmed as a local low, thus be getting that hidden bullish evidence until Ethereum, I keep on almost saying Bitcoin, but until Ethereum closes uh, at, you know, a uh, four hour above about 28, uh, 28, 90 or so. Could we do this on an hourly as well? Yeah, we could do this on an hourly and I would say it's 2,900 even a little bit easier on that case as well. And, um, and at that point I would be looking for a short term targets to be initiated towards 2,950 to uh, just under 3,000 actually. So not bad at all. Um, let's go over here to a daily. Uh, I would exp I would express extreme caution, however, on the daily, and I think it even shows up a little bit better on the two day with any sort of a higher time frame closure below 2750, or if you want to be super exact, it'd be 2765, 2765 in this case. If that were to happen, that would confirm this as your next lower high, thus confirming another drop of hidden bearish evidence right here. Again, all in line, extremely low volatility. So of course, that's not happening right now, but if you do see that breakdown happen, and if you do see higher term time frames close below there, I'd be looking for you know, the next move down to uh, your lows from early March, basically, which is like 2,500 or so, and probably sets it up for a long-term breakdown, uh, to be quite honest with you, into the upper 1,000s. But for right now, the weekly on Ethereum USD, a few good signals right here. We see weekly uh, regular bullish evidence come off the lows, so not bad right there. Weekly Jewel is actually getting an upside signature. I want to see that supported by DMI, but, you know, one thing before the next, obviously. And again, same thing here, you know, I, I'm seeing that weekly volatility is still contracting. So we're probably going to see at least another week of range. And in this case, the range, the upside is going to be like 30, uh, 3150 to 3200. And to the downside, it's going to be more like 2750 or so. So I'm not looking for a breakout just yet on the higher term timeframes, but the Bulas do have a few more, you know, good things going for them. Uh, let's go check it out over here from Stochastic Momentum. I uh, just want to see where things are at right now, especially on the higher term timeframes. Uh, daily Stochastic Momentum remains the upside as long as Ethereum's above 2750. So not too helpful for right now, 100 bucks below. Uh, two day shows 2550 and weekly. Where are we at right there? Freshly crossing up actually, as long as uh, Ethereum's above 2564. So 
not bad right there. I'm I'm looking for another short term move, uh, pro probably another short term move to the upside, and then see if it can actually take out those critical regions. Um, you know, on a daily critical region would basically be like. 30, 30, 50, whatever this uh, local high was here on the 1st of March. So hopefully that was helpful. And there you go for, uh, for Ethereum, sir.